Hello everybody, it's Hoovian here with Hoovian Talks. It's a new thing I've thought of because I it's actually something I've been thinking about doing like because there are many different things that people need to talk about but aren't really uns are really unsure on where they can talk about it. And I don't know if any, if my topics will relate to any of yours. If you want me to look up a topic at all and talk about it, please put it in the comments and I will I'll read it. But um basically what I will be doing with this is talking about yeah, talking about topics like and I hope I help people like talk about what they're wanting to talk about because this is sometimes People just need talk, and it makes them better. Sometimes it makes them more open up. Sometimes it reveals some of their desires. It's very strange. But I think I will start off today with introductions as that's today's topic. Because introductions into this series, into more about me, uh, and I just want to talk. I I don't like talking very much, but uh, um, but seriously, uh, sorry, annoying people. You know, they always try to talk to you. There's like, oh, 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 and and yet when you try when you say leave me alone at all, they make you look like the asshole. What I all I asked was leave me alone. I didn't say go fuck yourself and and go over there in the corner and go cry yourself to sleep. No, I didn't say that. I never say that. When would I ever say that? Uh, but it's it's like this. I. You ask them, leave me alone, please, and they make you an asshole for no reason, but to make them look look like better, and that's something that people need to stop doing, otherwise they're going to cause more problems. Half time I feel like killing someone because because they make me look like an asshole. Why not be one? Kill one of them, but. I don't do that. Actually, do not stab anyone. That's that's my that's my motto. Don't stab anyone. It's a bit mild. But just gonna say this: there are also many different disorders that people have. That's what we have to realize as well. Some people are more lenient on on how their mental stability is. Ah. Uh, Sometimes people that are just that are left to be all by themselves make and just they they have parties with with themselves. They they only talk to themselves. They they only make imaginary friends. That sometimes adds to it can expand and it can turn into a DID, which is dissociative identity dis disorder, I think. Yeah, I think dissociative identity disorder. I will look that up. Yeah, it it's it's a strange one. It used to be known as multi personality disorder. Not sure why you would change the name. Weird, isn't it? Uh. Uh, it's a medical dis a disorder characterized by the presence of two or more distinct personality states. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, yeah. Uh, now, many people would say, why don't I have that? Well, it determines. Uh, do you ever, do you ever have a moment where you feel like you're doing something, but it's not you, but it's like something else, and then there's another thing, another one that's, that's also doing stuff that isn't you. Well, I feel like this could actually. <sighs> I, honestly, I. Uh, but, uh, 
of that out of the way, I'm just gonna say this. When when people do ask you things, don't make them look like an asshole. If they say please, they're being nice. If you you can also tell when they are about to explode because they start talking very seriously and they sometimes and here's the thing. I explode a lot of time, but I text people so they don't hear my explosions. They just see my calm texts of wanting to be left alone. Yeah, I'm not very sociable. Yeah. <sighs> and my views on politics is mainly they can go themselves I honestly don't give a damn most I just don't give a damn just what I don't want is I don't want some rich person who thinks that he's better than everyone to be leading this leading leading a country that he thinks oh don't worry they can pay for all my shit no matter no matter what they what they actually have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh... I'm pretty sure if, if it was... I'm pretty sure that's a dictator, isn't it? Yeah, that's a dictator. Yeah, I don't want a dictator person. Yeah. I don't want someone that's... Because what I will do, if someone tries to, like, be overminding me, like, in that person isn't even, is even someone that's better capable than I am, I will hit them. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Um, if, you, you, you have to be understandable on who you can talk to, like, you can talk to, but not talk down to. Talking down to someone could mean that could lead to uh, some serious things. That's what some of the some of the shootings, like some of the killing, has been done about because people have been talked down to. They have been treated miserably, and they and they just want be they want the attention. They want be noticed. They want be noticed for someone that won't take it anymore. Someone that will. That will retaliate if because sometimes that's that's those are the worst serial killers that happen. They were people that that were perfectly normal until people started talking down to them, and they started becoming disorganized, this used to they they got so so unstable. Yeah. See, that's why you have to be careful on who you can talk talk to, but not talk down to. I mean, if there's someone higher rank, like like you're a private in the army, if you're a private in the army, you you are gonna get talked down to by a lot of superior officers. But here's the thing: a private should never talk down to a commanding officer. That could get you a uh, Consequence. I don't know what kind of consequences are in the army. It is very weird. But of course, I'm just rambling on about things. There are many topics that could be discussed. <sighs> yeah, I'm always tired though. Um, but there are some things that. That uh definitely do need to be talked about. Uh yeah, but see, some people are people who will only want to talk about themselves, their own problems, their own like it's like oh why they when pe when some people think about the legal system and justice system, they never think about like the people that are 
that are uh, so hated and so mistreated. You see, here's the thing. Okay, white people aren't the racist people anymore. It's becoming the, the African Americans are becoming racist. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah, alright. Two kill. Alright, here's the thing. If a white guy, if some random white guy kills an African American, everyone has to hear about it. But here's the thing. If an African American kills a white veteran and is pregnant wife, no one hears a single thing. This is what this is what the problem is. We're only f we're okay. Here's the thing: P more white people have been killed than any African than African Americans. It says like one third of the people that were killed by that were by, that were killed by officers were African American. One third, one third. You know, and the, and the two thirds was mainly that white people. Actually, one third was actually the minority. Yeah. Any other race besides white? I don't understand what the word minority really means, actually. Not very sure. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and sometimes if you talk down to some people, they will do actions against themselves. They will hurt themselves. That's the thing. You have to be careful on who you talk down to. And. See here's the thing. A parent. Here's the thing. A parent should always love their children. And always show their children love. Because the children will always want the love of their parents. No matter what, what the action is. No matter what it is. They, children are always wanting that, in somewhere, somewhere in their heart, they are always wanting that love of the parent thing. <sighs> even if there's a, even if there's, a, if it's unplanned, and that's in it, that doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that you're not going to love them any less. It just means get a chance. You just get a chance to love someone. Yeah. But I'm I'm seriously serious on on this part. Be seriously. Don't talk down to to some people. You have if you if you're a higher ranking official somewhere. Sure, you have to talk down to your, to your, uh, 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 people that you're the boss to. I don't know what you, your workers, yeah. Or if you're a higher rank in the army, you're supposed to talk down to your, to your, um, subordinates. Subordinates! That's, that's the, that's the word. Okay. Because you have to make sure they, they win. They you have to make sure they they try their hardest. But what you don't do, you don't push them to the brink of exhaustion. Well, I see in the army, you always do that. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this. I'm not I'm not talking to the army people, any army people right now. But anywhere else, like um, uh, like in manufacturing or maybe manufacturing has to. Well, just what you don't do. I'm excluding army because any any military, yeah, that's what I'm excluding. Yeah, because there's more than just the army. There's army, there's marines, there's navy, there's air force. I feel, yeah, I pretty much got it. And that's no guard. Yeah, but basically, when when you're when you are a boss of people in in a place that doesn't require stress that much don't work them so they're so stressed out because some people that are very okay i just i just had a big thing that has happened no 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 my my team speak shut down but uh 
like I was saying, you can't because some people will retaliate. They will do something that that might. It's like because sometimes the people that don't look like like a person. Sometimes the people that aren't noticed as as a threat can be the biggest threat. I'm just gonna say this. The Muslims are actually a good people. Nowhere in their religion does it actually say, oh, you have to kill these people, you have to kill that people. No, it doesn't. People are actually using them, using that as lies. Do not fall into those lies. They will, they will try to ensnare anything they can say to make sure that you don't, you don't do what they don't want. Because, here's the thing, the military will, the more you attack the nascents, the more they will be forced to go against you. I would say, stop what you're doing, and ask for forgiveness. Because any, because, here's the thing, I'm Christian, and I still forgive you. I forgive those who go against me because I know they they are only being told lies about their religion they're being told because they they have this weird fixation in their head I'm just gonna say this any true Christian will forgive you even when he's forced with death or she first death. I mean, in, at the church that got attacked in Charlestown, the families forgave. We forgive. And in, in, in most of the religions, it says, forgive your enemies. It doesn't, I don't know what religion says, you can kill whoever, whoever you want. Maybe it's satanic, but just that's not the point. You can't follow someone that's using religion as a way to lead people, to, as a as an excuse for what they what they're doing. Religion is what you believe. It's not the reason you do most of your actions. You're Muslim. You're you're always told forgive your enemies. Forgive others. I don't I, I really don't know why. I don't know why people would want to turn from their own countries. I mean I don't understand. Do you do you hate your yourself for, for being that or because I don't understand. I understand that you may not like like the people in the government, but there are people who are so good that are that are working for all only for you. They may not be in the government, but they're but they will always be looking out for you. They will always love you. Must always realize that. I will say this: the attacks on on the nation on different nations, they don't only fuel the fire to go against you. There is no winning if you go against every country. There is no winning, especially if you try to invade Russia. There have been three. There have been three armies that tried to invade Russia, and they all failed. Just gonna say that. And I don't think Russia would ever follow you. Uh, Russia's already being looked at by, well, it's by many countries. Like, I wonder what they're going to do. Because we, because you have to realize this. There will be, a, there is a coalition 
against terror. They may not they they may not be noted at this time, but as soon as they as soon as they are as soon as they are ready, they will send troops in to stop you. You might be before for fortifying yourself, but you have to realize which side has more troops? Which side has more more weapons? Which side will be willing to f to fight more for their country and for the uh, for the countries that are there? You have to realize this. Most of the people that are in the military, actually, all of the people in the military, they're not drafted. They chose to go against those who kill innocents, to go against those who butcher children, go against those who force innocent people to join their side or die. You will be stopped. That's where I'm going to end it for today. This has been Hoovian Talks, Episode 1, Introductions. I'm glad we are, I'm glad we're on the same topic here. Bye, and good luck.